mighty name of Jesus Christ as we speak long to your people we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that there is going to be healing there is going to be hope there is going my father to be a creation of what your people want to see in their life in the name of Jesus by the power and the integrity of your word we pray in the name of Jesus Christ let there be hope where there was no hope in the name of Jesus Olivia, and whatever whatever needs to be created in the lives of your people Lord as they tune and watch with us my father let them be a creation in the mighty name of Jesus this afternoon we thank you Lord and we give you glory in Jesus mighty name we pray in the mighty name of Jesus we pray moving forward I'm in this crisis and today I will speak on the same but with a subtitle which I have entitled speak the word speak the word I have I have come to understand in order for us to move forward I mean this crisis then we must we must embrace this dimension uh, of speaking the word that is speaking what we want to see what we want to see and this one we are going to understand by reading the book of Genesis chapter 1 the book of Genesis chapter 1 and the verse 1 the Bible says in the beginning God created heaven and the heart and the heart was without form and the void. Some translations say the heart was empty and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Verse 3 And God said let there be light and there was light and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness verse 5 and God come the light day and the darkness it called night and the evening and the morning were the first day now this is a series of many things that God called or rather he, he, he brought on board by, by, by the word by the word by the word and uh, I have said that the word of God is a great force that will help us brethren that will enable us to move forward amid this crisis the word of God is a great force that will help us or rather that will move us forward even amid this crisis this we see it from 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 Genesis chapter 1 where God created heaven and earth and he saw that the heart was empty the heart was without a form there was nothing on the face of the earth and the bible says in verse 3 and god began creating things whereby he said and let them be light the first thing he created was the light he said let them be light and when he said there was light and the bible says and god saw the light and it was good and it was good now let's let's see the last verse of this chapter verse that one the bible says and god saw everything that he had made and beyond it was very good and beyond it was very good and the evening and the morning were the sixth day now god concludes the account of creation by saying that all that which he created all that which he called on board they came to be and they were very good everything that he called on board it came to be and it was very good and this one teaches us brethren to understand that the word of God is very powerful the word of God carries a tremendous power it carries a tremendous power to bring into existence those things that are not seen by our naked eyes many times when we look at things we we, we tend to be controlled by what we can see when we, we ask we fail to know that whatever we can see it was not there except by the word except by the word it was the word that made the heart to look as pleasant as we can see today such that when you are on the face of the earth you feel uh, you feel comfortable because you because when it is dry you can get on a sand of a tree and you shelter yourself there and you feel good because God called those things into existence they were not there it's good to understand that they were not there but the one that God spoke and the power to bring them forth and to bring them into existence my brother Brothers and sisters, I have come to understand in the life that we are living, life is framed with the word. Life is shaped 
by the word whatever you want to see in your life my brother my sister don't just keep quiet on it don't just wait to see it happen i have come to let us know wherever you are watching us from that it is your responsibility to call that which you need to see on board it is your responsibility to speak to what you want to see in the mighty name of jesus christ someone shout i will speak the word i will speak the word i will not wait for things to act to happen i will not wait for things to to, to take shape but rather i will speak the word and the one i speak will shape them in the mighty name of jesus as you watch this program today i declare shape in your life let them be shape in your life in the mighty name of jesus christ whatever you need in order for you to enjoy shape in your life i declare let them be shape today in the mighty name of jesus christ whatever you think you know that it is that which can make your life have shape in this life uh, by the virtue of the word of God. Uh, I decree in the name of Jesus, let them be shape. I'm speaking the one to you. Let them be shape in your life uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God carries a tremendous power to bring on board those things uh, that we cannot see with the neck and the eyes. Uh, the Bible in the book of John chapter 1 chapter 1 and verse 1 the bible says in the beginning was the word in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god verse 2 the bible says um verse 2 the bible says he was in the beginning with within god i want to see verse 3 verse 3 is very powerful all things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made all things were made by the word and without the word there is nothing that was made that is made whatever we see today is a reflection of the word hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3 the bible says the word ones were framed by the word the ones were framed by the word which by faith we understand that the ones were framed by the word of god so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible my brothers and sisters the word of god is a great force that will catapult us in a season of crisis in a times of crisis and move us forward in the mighty name of jesus someone shout i will move forward i mean this the crisis in the mighty name of jesus now god god did all this in order to teach us what to do on the face of the heart he did all this in order to teach us what to do on the face of the heart the prophets of hold the prophets of hold also embraced this dimension and if in the Old Testament, if you read the Bible, you will find uh, like the scripture, the man of God earlier yesterday. The Bible says, and there was a famine in the land besides the other famine, which means there were famines. There were famines in the land. There were famines in the land. But it uh, took a man who had an empowerment of the word of God in his life uh, to break the power of famine. And I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, no matter what the devil had brought on board to hinder your manifestation to hinder the reality of your life i decree in the name of jesus christ that famine will come to an end that famine will come to an end whatever famine it is may it be marital may it be financial may it be social whatever famine in your life by the word of god i decree and declare it shall come to an end God did not wait for things to shape themselves. He used the word to shape things. And I come to speak to us today through this media. And I have come to tell you, don't wait for things to shape. Don't wait for things to come to a time where they please. I have come to tell you, cause them to please. Speak to them, and when you speak to them, they will hear you because everything under the face of the earth, everything under the face of the earth is wired to hear the word of God. In other words, life, uh, 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 everything in life, hears the word. 
everything minus nothing he has the word so when you speak the word the ears the ears of what you want to hear the ears of what you needed to hear shall hear in the mighty name of jesus christ so the prophets of hope embraced this dimension and when there were famines in the land, when the prophets came and they spoke the word those problems were melting for example we see in second kings chapter 6 and verse 26 there is a story whereby there was a great famine in samaria there was too much famine and women were to a point of boiling their own children women came to a point where by they could boil their own children and at one time as as a, as a, as the king of of israel was just walking along he finds a woman crying and asks why she was crying and she explains i am in this state because yesterday we, we agreed and they cooked to the child of uh, 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 of one of us and today we were to cook our child but she has refused and so when the king saw that he went into 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 sacred he went into sacred and uh, and he began to greet him the man of god who was in the land of Vena, elisha he began to Britain, the man of God, Elisha, he began to throw threats to Elisha. And when Elisha got the report, he came out, he came out the next day in 2 Kings chapter 7. Let's have 2 Kings chapter 7. The Bible says, and Elisha came out and he spoke to the people. 2 Kings chapter 7. I, I like this. I like this. Oh, Makatonda Lakota. Then Elisha said, Hear the word of the Lord that says the Lord tomorrow about this time, Shakuta. Tomorrow about this time, a seer of five shall be sold for a seeker, and two seas of barley for a seeker at the gate of Samaria. Now, the, 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 uh, the, that, that other part we will explain. Now, the man of God, when he got this report, he appeared, he came out, and by faith, in the created tomorrow he's saying it tomorrow there is going to be plenty there is going to be abundance in the land and there is going to be to be a decline in the price of things and this is exactly what happened when they spoke the word it did not matter how was the situation was when Elijah spoke the word tomorrow as he and he said there was plenty in the land there was abundance in the land people came out in the multitudes and they took food and they carried some home why because there was a man that knew the, the significance of words there was a man that knew what once means in life brethren is going to understand that life is saved by words many of the people today are facing challenges in life because they are waiting to see the exchange they are there sitting doing nothing and they are waiting things to change i have come to tell us as believers as the children of god god expects us to speak the word and when we speak the word no matter what could be on the way no matter the challenge the challenge will melt the challenge will disappear even if it is a mountain the mountain will disappear in the mighty name of jesus christ one time jesus moved with his disciples and they came to a place and they were hungry and looking around they saw a tree that was blossoming and they thought in that tree we go in we will get some fruit and once they got there they found there was nothing there was no fruit and jesus spoke a word and he cast a tree that was blossoming and once jesus did that they passed by tomorrow as they came along they noted the tree which Jesus cursed and dried up and the disciples said master see the tree which you cursed has already dried up and when Jesus saw it he told them if you will have faith even as little as a master seed you will speak to a mountain and tell the mountain be thou removed from here and be cast 
cast into the sea and the mountain will hear I am here to tell you my brother my sister no matter what seems as a mountain in your life if you're going to embark on the word of God and not keep quiet but speak the word that mountain will hear that mountain will hear and it shall not just hear but it shall give way it shall give way in the mighty name of Jesus even if it is a financial mountain that mountain will give you way and tomorrow you shall be the richest man walking around because of water not because you have joined not because you have joined the club of those who worship at night but because you have understood the ministry of the word of God there is nothing so powerful like the word of God brethren our time has come where we don't need to wait for things to change but we need to speak to them and when we speak to them they shall hear and they shall respond someone shall ever speak the word I will speak the word there are so many hanging things in the life of people today just because they are waiting for those things to come to an end they are waiting for those things to disappear i have come to let us to know brethren we carry a great power in our tongue we carry a great power in our mouth it's only that we have not put it into work if you can put it into work you will understand you are not that just brother people but you will come to know you are not that mama people got to know you will come to understand your shop is not the kind of shops that people know in town if only we can understand what we carry in our mouth lift up your and say i carry great power i carry great power to change my destiny to shape my destiny the problem is today many people are waiting in vain there is nothing they have spoken there is nothing they have declared but as a wise son of God today don't wait in vain don't just wait for anything to come when you have not created it someone said I will create things I will create things it's going to understand what you create will cling with you even if it is in work time what you create will cling with you what you don't create will collapse you i pray that you will not be collapsed marriages are in chaos today because men and men and the women are just walking out because they feel they have come to a point of marriage and the ones they get into what they have not created within a short time they are collapsed i said what you create will cling with you but what you don't create will collapse you i pray in the name of jesus you will not wait to get into water you have not created my brother my sister Sister, move in the direction of your words. Move in the direction of your words. Don't just wake up and take a direction and move. What you move into, which your words have not created, will collapse you. Will bring you into shame. Will bring you into into tears. But what you create, what you take time to create, you might take some time. Why? While you are creating that husband, while you are creating that wife, while you are creating that job, by the moment she comes forth in the name of Jesus, she will be the best. She will be the best for you. She will not collapse you. I decree in the name of the Lord, you will not get into what you have not created. Someone shout, I will create things. It's time for us, brethren, to understand the power in the word of God. Even the word that we carry and use it and exercise it. And there is no power on earth that has, uh, that has weights to create, to, to bring things on board. Like the power in the word of God. Someone shout, I will create things. I will create things. In the mighty name of Jesus. And because of that, you must speak the word. 
Someone shout, I will speak the word. I will speak the word. Now very fast, I wanted to give us facts about the word of God. Number one, the word of God carries a creative power. The word of God, this one we find it in the context where we have read in the book of Genesis. It carries a creative power. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 3. It carries a creative power. We see God creating things. We see God using the word to create things. And those things he creates, they come forth. They come forth. I want to encourage you, no matter how things are around you, don't be tired of creating what you want to see. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People are people are deceived in the, in the days we are living. Whereby in all things, in everything, no matter what, even the kitchen affairs, they cry for Sirikari. They cry Sirikari Saindia. I have come to tell you, it's not about Sirikari Saindia. It's about the ones in your mouth. It's about the ones you carry in your mouth. Those are the ones that will bring a revolution in your life. Someone shout, God help me. Then people have been blinded so that they don't see the power of what they carry. Number two, the word of God penetrates anywhere. The word of God penetrates anywhere. There is no situation the word of God will not penetrate. The Bible in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. Give us Shekandor Yamaha. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. For the word of God is living and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and the spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is an discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. The word of God will penetrate anywhere. There is no situation the word of God will not penetrate. You cannot limit the word of God in a certain issues. And others you think it cannot do. The word of God will penetrate anywhere. That's why the Bible says it gets even into the bone marrows. Separating the bone marrows and, and, the, and the bones, the joints and the marrow. And it is so sharp. It can get anywhere. Why? Because life is framed by the word. Someone shout hallelujah. Life is framed by the word. There is nowhere. There is no depth. There is no depth. The word of God will not get. The word of God will get into any depth. When the children of Israel cried in the wilderness because of thirst, the Bible says God struck, commanded the rock to be struck. And when it was struck, it gave water. That's why David uh, confirms that uh, in, in the book of Psalm 78. And verse 15, and he says that he split the rocks and he gave them water in abundance. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink in abundance, like the depths. I decree no matter the wilderness around you, if you only speak the word, the rocks, the wilderness will hear, and the wilderness will produce for you. The wilderness will become habitable for you. The wilderness will become the beautiful place for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Isaiah chapter 32, and verse 15. I like this verse. I like this verse. The wilderness will become the best place for you until the Spirit is poured upon us from on high and the wilderness becomes a fruit a fruitful field and the fruitful field is counted as a forest. I decree in the name of Jesus. Every situation in life that seems as a wilderness by the wind of the Lord it shall become a fruitful field in that very wilderness a fruitful field in the name of Jesus and a forest on beauty I send a forest on beauty I decree a forest on beauty in your life today in the mighty name of
of Jesus no matter how the time suggests I decree at the hand there shall be a forest of beauty in your life in the mighty name of Jesus when we talk when people talk of economic collapse I decree as for you a forest on beauty a forest on beauty you will come out successful you will come out driving you will come out happy you will come out with your family in the mighty name of Jesus because the word of God will turn your wilderness into a forest on beauty I decree in the name of Jesus even after Corona a forest on beauty shall be your testimony and by the way we are not waiting for Corona to end we are commanding Corona to end in the mighty name of Jesus and by the power on this altar I speak to you Corona in the name of Jesus Christ get your hands out of Kenya get your hands out of the nations of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus I command you to draw from your depths in the mighty name of Jesus Sabare Sari yes I will create things tell your neighbor speak the word no matter how the situation is speak the word the word of God carries life he's a life giver the word of God carries life he's a life giver we see this in Ezekiel chapter 37 the Bible says and the spirit of the Lord took the man of God into into a valley of dry bones where there was nothing living there was no life in that valley all that was smelling in that valley it was only death and the dryness but the bible says and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones then he caused me to pass by them all around and beyond there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were very dry they were very dry there was no hope in them oh go shattered and he said to me son of man can these bones live so I answered oh Lord God you know oh Karabagadi again he sent to me prophesy to these bones and say to them oh dry bones here katayaba here the wand of the lord is not about the situation you are in but here the wand of the lord when i was shakata again he sent to me prophesy to these bones oh, oh dry bones here the wand of the lord. that say who that says the lord god to these bones I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live it's a long story I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live the spirit of the Lord is telling the man of God is sick that just speak to them the word speak to them the word let them hear the word of the Lord not what people are saying not what the situation suggests let them hear the word of the Lord and once you speak I will cause breath to enter them and they shall live I came to let us know in that situation let it hear the word of the Lord many have earned to the voices of men they have not earned the voice of God many situations have earned the voice of men where men say that one will not make it where men say that one comes from a very poor background where men say none of them mend it where men say this one has a very poor hand cannot make it but those situations have not earned the voice of the word of God and that's where I have come to remind us today no matter the situation around you cause it to hear the word of God cause it to hear the word of God that poverty will get out in the mighty name of Jesus that sickness won't disappear cause it to hear the word of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus that 
that rejection will disappear. God said to hear the word of God, let it know you are not the rejected. You are the beloved of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, God said to know you are fearfully at the wonderful meet. You are not just a poor being. You are not just a shapeless being. But you are fearfully at the wonderful meet. And once they hear the word of the Lord, they shall live. I decree you shall live again. You shall rejoice again. You shall enjoy your marriage again. In the mighty name of Jesus, your business will sprout again. This is what Job knew when he said, There is hope for a tree, even though it was cut by the scent of water. By the scent of water, there is hope for that tree to gather itself up again and sprout and better suit than the first. This is the revelation that Job and he knew there is hope only by the word of God. I speak to your situation. Hope, 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 hope in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not end to discouragement in the mighty name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, speak the word. If you are seated or watching with someone, tell them, speak the word. Speak the word. Number four, as we wind up on that, the word of God beautifies. The word of God beautifies. That is what we have seen in Isaiah 32 and verse 15. The word of God beautifies. Sakota. Arima Sadu. Until the spirit is poured upon us from on high. And the wilderness become a fruitful field that talks on beauty. I decree and declare, amid this crisis, your life shall be beautiful. Your life shall be beautiful. Your family shall be beautiful. Your business shall be beautiful. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your and say, my father, I receive beauty in my life from today. In Jesus' name. The word of God beautifies. As I conclude on this, I want to give us two things that are very important for us to enjoy the reality of the word of God in our lives. Many people can say, I have spoken the word, but nothing is happening. I want to show you very powerful two things. That when you practice them from today, there is going to be a change. Every time you are speaking the word of God, number one, speak the word of God by faith. Speak the word of God by faith. For by faith, all things are possible. Speak the word of God by faith. Jesus told the disciples, if only you will have a ritual faith and speak to a mountain, the mountain will hear and it will disappear. So every time you are speaking to a situation in life, whatever situation it is, my brother, my sister, gather faith. Make sure you are not just speaking because the situation is there, but speak because there is faith in your heart. When there is faith in your heart, the situation will have nothing to do but to melt and disappear. In the mighty name of Jesus, I've realized many Christians, many believers, whenever they are talking to their situations, they don't have faith. They have faith when they are speaking to other things. But when it comes to their own issues, they have no faith. Many times we speak to our situations when we are deeply asleep. When we are about to sleep, when the bond is even almost weak, but when we, we are speaking to other things, we even jump around by fire and by thunder. I command you to disappear. I command you to hear the word of God. I have come to tell you today when you are speaking to your own things, jump around in the anointing by fire and by thunder, by lightning. I command in the name of Jesus, disappear. Disappear. Disappear.
disappear disappear in the mighty name of jesus and when you do so that situation will hear and disappear many times when christians are in a critical situation they go to bend and sleep on god tafadhali mungu kama ni mapenzi yako if it is your will father take this cup of water take this cup away from me in jesus name i pray that's how we, that's how it is done and that's why there are no results but i have come to sensitize us today don't just speak because a situation is there make sure you gather yourself sakota gather yourself and have faith in god and when you have faith in god even if it is as rich as the master and the seed that faith will melt the mountain that faith will will, 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 will take away the limitation in the mighty name of jesus somebody shout i will speak the word number two as we finish speak the word of god with the boldness speak the word of God with embodiness don't just speak it speak it with embodiness Acts chapter 4 verse 13 Acts chapter 4 Acts of the Apostles Acts of the Apostles now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men they marveled and they realized that they had been within jesus when they saw these are the this this these are the scribes it's talking about the scribes who confronted akina peter in their ministry after receiving the holy spirit and they confronted them and they wanted to persecute them ah the bible says when they saw the boldness sakota someone saw the boldness when they saw the boldness of peter and john and perceived that they were uneducated in terms it matter your level of education if only you have this knowledge with you limitations will give way in the mighty name of jesus the bible says they marveled and they realized these people must have been with jesus this one means they must have seen how jesus spoke to things they saw how jesus reacted to circumstances they saw how jesus rebuked and tormented devils by a boldness and because of that they came out as a reflection of jesus and they came out with boldness when they saw the boldness they said her huh? these people must have been with jesus i have come to tell you today for you for for things to hear for situations to hear you for that wilderness to hear you for that you call crisis to hear your voice my brother my sister speak to hate with the boldness gather boldness speak to the top of your roof let the let your roof know you are there let your neighbors know you are there because there are things you want to put on in, in shape and gather all faith and boldness and by boldness things will have to migrate demonic activities will melt in the mighty name of jesus christ our man of god gave us an example here yesterday and he talked of how dogs behave in the villages because they are not fixed in one place they keep on rotating around with the people and so when you want to go to the market or rather you want to meet we want to go to and date then don't want to follow you behind to date together with you and he said even if you can just tell you where where come on go back go back the, the kamumba will just hide and came out again green, 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 and come out want to follow you but when you gather boldness and pick a heavy stone actually a heavy stone has a voice behind it and you just 
said to the dog the dog will have to run I have come to tell you that is how situations are joking around with us that is how wilderness are joking around with the children of God but I have come to tell you today if you want your wilderness to become a forest on beauty speak to it to be boldness speak to it to be boldness boldness will get out. That is stubborn situation. Doctors have found it is stubborn. But boldness calls it minute. I came to let you know by boldness it shall become a forest of beauty. That home, that family that is known to be a poverty center, it shall become a beautiful place. It shall become the city of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone shout, I receive boldness. I receive boldness. As my father is, so I am. I'm not a photocopy. I am the real image of God. What my father can do, I will do. My father was not written by wilderness. He saw wilderness as a beauty center. I decree in this season, whatever seems to threaten you, if you will only speak the word, it shall become a beauty center. In the name of Jesus, that devil is a liar. I know he has crowned you with the wrong title, but I came to let you know you are a child of God. You belong to the household of God. And given the sense you are God's, and because you are God's, I decree in the name of Jesus what God did, you shall do. What God enjoyed, you shall enjoy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Someone shout, I will speak the word. Don't wait for things to take shape. Speak the word. And when you speak the word, they shall hear. There was a very wise man, a centurion, in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 8. As I finish now, Matthew hates and verse that I feel an anointing that this corona season, you will come out successful. Matthew chapter 8, verse 8, verse 8, verse 8. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. But only speak the word and my servant will be healed. And my servant will be healed. Only speak the word. Only speak the word. I conclude this message by telling you. Only speak the word and your situation will be better in the name of Jesus Christ. Only speak the word. Son of God. Only speak the word. And your situation will be better. I see your situation better amidst the crisis. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. If you believe it, wherever you are, shout, Amen. Thank you for giving us attention this afternoon. Thank you for hearing and listening the word of God. I pray. That your situation will be better in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are there and you are not born again, the way to enjoy beauty, the way to enjoy the reality of the word of God in your life, it is by giving your life to Jesus. I want you to repeat this prayer by faith just after me. Say, my father in Jesus' name, I have heard your word and I have believed in your word. And now, father, I make a decision. To give my life to you. I receive you. In my life. As my personal savior. Write my name. In the book of life. Get my name out. Of the book of death. In Jesus mighty name. 
now I am saved and I am born again in Jesus Christ's name I pray amen thank you so much if you have heard, if you have just made that prayer you have been born in the family of God you are born again you are a new creation in Jesus mighty name thank you so much thank you so much you can talk to us our contacts are there you can see them talk to us if you want the man of God to pray with you just make a call and they will pray with you in Jesus mighty name thank you thank you for tuning the Lord bless you and I conclude by telling you that don't wait for things to change change them by your words words are very powerful in Jesus mighty name I pray see you again Shalom God bless you